what's up you guys we're up in the shop right now it's about 10 10 right now you're gonna fucking watch on what what you talking about <laughs> like a, but, um, yeah yeah 10 10 yeah. check my time i got it right Nigga, it ain't about 10 10 yes it is motherfucker is 10 09 yeah i said about 10 10 no motherfucker you gotta get it exactly right no i don't i was getting the time right earlier yeah it's like, where's Josh at? It's 10-14. It was 10-14. Alright, so... <clears throat> these guys are acting a little crazy over here. He had some KFC. Fell up in their brain. I had McDonald's! This is even worse. He has cancer now. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, I'm actually going to start something on my KT build. I'm just gonna check uh and set the valve lash for a valve train and uh cams and stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that somewhat, maybe. You guys might learn something from this video. Alright, so before when I had my K all set up. I love dick in my asshole. When I had my uh my valve clearance before, it was a little jacked up because I had swapped heads, but I didn't I didn't keep the the buckets that were in the head when I swapped it. I used my old head's buckets which jacked up my uh my valve lash and everything. So with all these extra buckets and shims over here for the dual cams uh head, I sort of uh figured out which ones go where. Um but to do that you basically need a micrometer, which looks like this. And also you need some feeler gauges, which I have in my car, which are little tiny metal strips that you you basically fit them underneath really tight clearances, and it tells you the clearance that you have at the moment. Basically, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take my camshafts right here. Tonight. Tonight. It's nighttime. It ain't daytime. True. Tonight, because it is 10:10 ish. Maybe later. Definitely later. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to take my camshafts, put the buckets all up in here, and tighten it down to the right torque spec, basically. Take the filler gauges and check all my valve lash and the clearance. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
guys, so once you get your camshaft bolted up in here, um, you'll want to get your feeler gauges, and you want the lobe to be pointing straight up and to where you have the uh, some clearance between the camshaft and the, the bucket and shim, and that's where you'll stick your feeler gauge and uh, check the clearance between your camshaft and basically your valve. Don't worry guys, once he gets it rebuilt, he'll be showing you how to take it apart again once he blows it. Alright you guys, so after checking the valve lash on each of the uh, shims and shit, shut up Chris! You're gonna have to uh, come over here, and I wrote down the the clearances basically for the intake and exhaust. They're different. Um, for intake, I believe it's twelve thousandths to fifteen thousandths. That's that's the amount of clearance you have to have. And then for exhaust, you have to have thirteen thousandths to sixteen thousandths. So basically, if you don't have that clearance, you need to go to freaking Nissan or you pull it or whatever and find some shims and switch them out to where you get the right valve clearance or else the engine ain't gonna run right or it's gonna run shitty probably so yeah after finding that out I figured out that I had two of my intake valves have either too less and too much of the uh too much clearance so I have to switch those out which I already have them right here I'm just going over my work again since I'm about to rebuild it so you guys, once you're finished setting valve lash for your K24DE, you can treat yourself to some good old GTA. Yeah.